everyone welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel if you're new i'm cynthia also known as creative mama of three on um, youtube and on instagram if you would like to follow me on there and today on friday sews i had a very productive week even though we did have family come from out of town and we had one trip to um like an action park um with rides and all that we had one trip to that and then we also had a pool party for my niece's second birthday. So even with all that going on, I still was able to have three makes this week. So let me start by showing you what I made for my daughters. Now, if you saw last week's Friday Sews, at kind of at the last minute, I found out that the birthday party was going to be a pool party. So my girls didn't have bathing suits. And we went shopping for a few bathing suits and nothing wore was the ones that I, as a mom, wanted my teenage daughters to wear. So I decided I will make make them suits. So as I showed last week, I used this pajama pattern because I used this tank top. It's for a knit, so I figured, you know, that would be good. And I already had this pattern. So what I made for that is I made my daughter... Oops, okay, so I made my daughter this swim top it's just a tank top swim top and then what I did is just like the one for my other daughter is I did uh, like a little bra underneath it's the same pattern just a, like a size smaller and I just made a half a half tank top type of thing for um, to use as like a bra and then I used um, swim elastic in there as well to keep that on tight. Now this fabric, I or it's beautiful fabric, first of all. The quality is really great. The price was really great. Shipping was not very good. Um, I, I bought it on Tuesday, June 29th. Paid for two days shipping. It didn't mail until that Friday. And then I got it on um, Wednesday, July 7th. So a week and a day for this to come. And I almost didn't have enough time to make her her swimsuit because I needed it for the pool party, which happened on Thursday, which was yesterday on the 8th of July. So I was up late making this for her. But the quality is really good. And I may order from them again, but I'm just going to have to give myself much more leeway. But this swimsuit is swimsuit fabric is really nice i only ordered a yard and i was able to make this for my oldest daughter she likes a lot more coverage she doesn't really like the sun that much um and is afraid of getting burned so i made this with some of the leftovers I did the front piece and the back piece and I used pattern right here this one it is pattern 7417 I did this one here because I wanted the longer version she wore um, for the bottoms she wore just um, a boys um, swim shorts because like I said she likes the cover-up so it kind of went down to her knees on my daughter but she really wants me to make like the little underwear for her, the little bottoms. So I have, even with that one yard of fabric, I still, I have more than enough to make that. So that was great. So I was able to make the tank top with my, for my other daughter. And then I did the inserts for this. Now this, this was not hard to make. I actually made this yesterday morning, right before the party. Um, it, it took me about two hours to make from from cutting the fabric to sewing it together and it probably wouldn't have taken that long if I didn't have to do like the sleeves a few times um I don't know how you feel about it but I like it when fabric is for clothing at least one when it's directional because then I know how to cut the fabric because this doesn't look directional but I try to make sure that I cut it the same way like I'm not sure if it would have looked the same and it probably would have looked the same both ways. But for clothing, I like directional. And then also I like to, for clothing, ones that have obvious, have an obvious front and back. See how like this is white? So I know this is the back. With this black fabric, 
it looks the same on both sides and I guess normally that's okay but when you're doing sleeves that are mirrored um, it's hard to tell which one goes on which side because they look exactly the same except for your little clip marks and sometimes I don't know about you but when I clip them sometimes I don't always doesn't always cut through the fabric so it was a little harder to do but I think I did it both shiny sides up because it's shiny and matte but the, it's not that much of a difference in the look but I did I did this for her I did a size medium for her which I think was a little too big um, probably could have gone with the small and then my big project is what I'm wearing I'm wearing a love notions lyric dress um love this dress um i used a um, ralph lauren bed sheet for it and i don't know if it shows really on camera but it's a pale yellow with little roses on it now this pattern also this fabric i wasn't sure if it was directional or not so i try to keep it lay it in the same way as i cut my pieces in hopes that if it is directional that it would look good I'm going to show, you know, insert some pictures of me wearing it. I did make it a little too big. I'm kind of new in making myself clothing. So I did measure myself. I went by the measurements of with they, you know, the measurement requirements. I don't think they had a finished measurement or if they did, I didn't see it or go by it. So I made what I felt was would have been in my size and it's just a little big i probably could have sized down smaller and also the bodice since it comes in cup sizes i did make a size too large for me so the darts had to be modified a great deal because i had a lot of fabric but this dress i did it all in with one day so that was great i love the cut i love the style of it I will definitely be making another one of this. This is kind of like my wearable muslin. I did really want to get this finished by Thursday for the pool party, but I wasn't able to finish it completely before then because um, I was having problems with the darts. So if I would have made this on my size with my cup size that I needed, then I would have had this done in one day. It's really a, really a nice, fun pattern. And the pattern, just like a lot of the Love Notions patterns, comes with multiple pieces. I made the, um, not the, it comes with a gathered skirt and I think like an A-line skirt. I made the A-line skirt with the flutter sleeve. But you could have done a gathered skirt. You could, I didn't make pockets. Um, you could put pockets in the seam pockets and you could also do pockets on the outside you could have done short sleeves no sleeves flutter sleeves it's it's a really great great pattern so I, I highly recommend it so far i've done two love notion patterns and been very pleased with both of them and i will be doing more of those and just keep in mind every friday they feature a pattern and they put that pattern on sale so i've been using that option to grow my pattern collection and i'm really i'm really enjoying that so so that was this week um next week i'm going to hopefully try making my husband a camp shirt so we'll see how how that goes mm, fingers crossed i never made one of those before i've never done um a placket or well this one kind of had a placket so i guess i have a little experience with that now but i have never done a collar or anything like that but luckily his does not have darts men's clothes don't normally have darts because that's kind of the where i ran into a little bit of issues with this pattern so i'm going to do that and then i also promised my three daughters that for the month of august they will pick out what I make for Friday sews. And I told them it could be something for me to wear. It could be something for you to wear. Or it could be something that nobody wears, like a stuffed animal or um, or a purse. You know, um, you know, pretty much anything. I'm giving them free reign of whatever patterns I currently own. And hopefully with the fabric that I currently own. Because I had this in this bed sheet in my stash for a long time. And when I first saw it, I knew I had to make a dress out of it. I just thought it was so pretty. And a lot of times that's what I do. I go to Goodwill and I always look into their um, like bedding section. Sometimes they have actual fabric. 
there. You know, uh, I found knits, I found wovens, I found upholstery fabric. I, you know, and then I use also bed sheets when they are nice looking. And you know, you can use them for a muslin. You can use them as practice. You can, or you can make your finished garment out of it. Like there's nothing wrong with this garment. I could wear this outside if I didn't, you know, if I didn't have the darts. But even with probably with the dart issue, I probably still can wear it outside. And you know, I might just do that. You know, I love really love enjoy it. So thank you for watching. Um, it, let me know in the comments if you recycle bed sheets to make clothing either for yourself or for your children. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. And let me know what you made. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you would like to see some some more of my makes. I plan on doing these Friday sews. It's really motivating me to sew and to try things that I never tried before, which is wonderful. It's definitely expanding my sewing skills. And luckily next week we do not have family in town, so I shouldn't have any problems making stuff, even though t this week we were very busy, but I was able to pull out three different garments and I that's totally a win in my book. So hope to see you guys again soon and have a great day and keep on sewing. Bye.